Okay, so welcome back to another video. So here we have another generating function, and this time this is dealing with the swinging factorial. And we want to show that the closed formula for the infinite sum from n is equal to zero to infinity of x to the power n multiplied by um, the swinging of n, swinging factorial of n is equal to one plus x subtract four x squared divided by one minus four x squared to the power three over two. So I should, um, for any new time viewers, um, if anybody sees, um, if this is a new symbol to you, so let's actually um, describe what that is. So the formula and the swinging factorial of n is simply described as n factorial and then divided by the floor of n divided by two factorial and then quantity square. Um, and then this is for n is greater than or equal to zero. So the way how this is described is um, it's sort of, again, it's swinging. So it's like these oscillation, sort of oscillations as it goes back and forth with the numbers, you know, increasingly gets larger. Um, I actually did cover a um, an infinite sum dealing with the um, the swing the swinging factorial of n. If you want to check that out, the links in the, in the description below. That was actually an interesting computation, and I had a lot of fun with this. And I'm going to have even more fun trying to verify the left hand side is equal to the right hand side with now with you know the generating um, functions. Um, so in order to approach this, we're actually going to use a very important um, formula, and that's by using the central binomial coefficient. Um, if anybody is curious to know what that is, uh, it's, it's dealing with, you know, the binomial coefficients with the, the binomial theorem itself. But specifically, the central binomial coefficient is basically, it's the central term of your um, n, n terms. The, um, it's the middle of the um, n rows of your Pascal's triangle. So, for example, if we have n is equal to 0, so that's 1. n is equal to 2, that's 2 n is equal to 3, that's 6, then um, n is equal to 8 is uh, 20, and, you know, the construction follows from, you know, Pascal's triangle. You look at the nth even rows, the, the even rows n, and um, you'll spot, like, the, the middle term of, you know, that um, expansion, and then that's where the central, you know, binomial coefficient, that's, um, the term comes from that. Um, so we'll be using that. And the way we're going to also do this is since we also deal with the swinging factorial, just from the previous video I did from the series computation, we're actually going to be breaking this up in terms of even and odd terms and then analyzing each of the following to get that sort of computation from one side and then the other, and then add everything up together to eventually, um, as we work our way through, we'll actually get the um, right-hand side that we want to achieve. So let's have fun with this and um, let's jump right in. So as I wrote this down, um, the definition is, you know, written as follows. Um, so we'll be using the central binomial coefficient. So that says the formula specifically for um, 2n choose n is equal to 2n factorial and then divided by um, n factorial square. It's almost um, kind of similar to closely um, related to the two. Um, but anyway, this is for, of course, n is greater than or equal to uh, zero. Then if we say that for even n, so even n such that n is equal to 2k, okay, then we say that um, 2k, the swinging, the swinging factorial of 2k is basically just equal to um, 2k and n, or no. Not, not divide. This is a this is supposed to be a binomial coefficient. So 2k choose k, and then all you have to do really to verify this is actually just you know substitute the um, 2k back into here, and then you'll notice that it actually comes into similar formation formulation of um, the you know factorial definition of the binomial coefficient, and so this is hence we get that. And so next we want to see is for um, now we're dealing this with odd n, so odd n such that um, n is equal to 2k plus 1, then what you do is you just plug back to the um, the swinging factorial definition, so 2k plus 1. So then that will just be equal to um, 2k, the quantity 2k plus 1, and then multiplied by the binomial coefficient 2k choose k. Uh, simply just, you know, do the same thing. But um, you would notice that, um, of course, with factorials, then if you do a little bit of simplification, you'll actually get this. You can check that for yourself if you want to see. From there, so we have our both our odd n and even n. So 
odd terms, even terms, I'll put it that way. So now we can actually start off with the left hand side. So our uh, generating function n is equal to zero of x to the power n multiplied by the swinging factorial of n. So now we can split this up to say that we have um, the even terms. So here, infinity, then k is equal to zero of 2k choose k multiplied by x to the power 2k. Of course, yeah, you see that the exponents change because here we're dealing with even terms. And then same thing over here for instead now odd terms. So infinity, then k is equal to zero of 2k choose k multiplied by 2k plus one, then multiplied by x to the power 2k plus one. Okay, so let me label these. Um, so this is, this is what we started with. So over here, these are dealing with our even terms. And then over here, this is dealing with our odd terms. So now how do we proceed forward with this? What we want to do is we actually want to use the, um, the generating function of the central binomial coefficient and the formula. And we're actually going to prove this just to do a little bit of like, a, you know, verification before we can actually continue, you know, actually utilizing that. Um, that says that, um, so let me write gen function of CBC, which is central binomial coefficient. That's written as the infinite sum, k is equal to zero of 2k choose k of uh, multiplied by x to the power k is equal to one divided by the square root of one minus four x. So now we're actually going to prove this um, before we can continue forward. The way we do this is we want to start with the derivation by using um, the following. The following is of course by um, with the binomial theorem that says that um, we, we can start off with one plus x to the power negative one half. Um, you'll see later eventually like why we started this and then we can actually again this is actually a common proof you start with a different formula then you want to just prove use a different substitution and it still you know validates using the binomial um, theorem formula so infinity then k is equal zero of um so let's see this is negative one half um choose k then multiply by x to the power k. So here we're actually dealing with um, well, the negative rational of, you know, from our binomial coefficient. So we can't use, um, because that one's specifically used for natural numbers, but here we have something a little bit different on the set. But there's actually a formula we can use um, specifically for this. So that says that for alpha and then k, alpha choose k, we can use that this is equal to alpha multiplied by alpha subtract one, keep going on so on and so forth. And we have, this is alpha subtract k plus one, and then all this divided by k factorial for um, alpha can be any real number and then k can include um, positive integers and then zero. We go from one half and then k, we just plug in alpha is for negative one k, so we just follow this expansion. So negative one half, then negative three over two. So continue on, so on, so forth. So we have a negative one half minus k plus one. If you actually just, um, you know, do a little bit of simplification, we have um, negative, 2k plus 1 um, divided by uh, 2. Well, actually, that's supposed to be a minus since factor that out. So negative over here. Okay, then we divide this by k factorial. Then continuing on forward, we can actually just factor out the negative 1 half and the, uh, um, well, and then this goes on for k many times. So that's why there's the exponent for um, the alternating negative 1 to the power k. Then we multiply this by 1, 3, to uh, one, three, five, simply because, you know, this is um, the numerators are dealing with, you know, um, odd terms. Then this continues on, so on, so forth, all the way up to two K subtract one, all this being divided by um, two to the power K multiplied by K factorial. Now from here, we can actually substitute this two to the power K K factorial with a different formula. And this actually follows with the product series of, you know, the N um, even terms. The positive even terms so negative one to the power k multiply one three still going on to two k subtract one on the bottom we have um, two times four times um, all the way up to two times k yeah, and then what i can do is i can multiply because if you notice that in the numerator there's some gaps missing like i said 
um, the numerators was only dealing with odd terms. There are no even terms. What I can do is actually multiply or multiply and divide a um, the same thing over here, the, the even number expansion. So it's, it's the identity of multiplying one. But if by doing so, multiplying that to the top, that will actually give us a, a better factorial to rewrite that as. And we can say that the, the numerator is written as uh, two times K factorial, but that's just multiplying this again. So that's square. So two times four, all the way up to 2k, then square. Replace this back with the 2k, uh, 2 to the power k, k factorial. And then if we actually um, simplify things even further, let's see, uh, let me take things one step at a time. Negative 1 to the power k, then 2k factorial. Um, now, again, this is just, um, you know, using the same identity over here, replace that back and then square that. So this will be 2 to the power uh, 2k, then multiply by k factorial square then if we just simplify all that out now we have negative 1 to the power 4 then um, to the power k multiplied by the binomial 2k choose k that actually we just computed our um, binomial, binomial coefficient negative 1 half uh, choose k so I'll underline that and say that this is equal to this so now we can just substitute that back into our um, our infinite sum so now we have that negative or not negative uh one one plus x to the power negative one half then um just substitute this back for the infinite sum k is equal to zero this is um so x to the power k i'll just put that back in so the exponent shares the k so now we have um 2k choose k and then multiply with uh negative x to the, divided by 4 to the power k so now we see that um this is equal to this um this left hand side is equal to the right hand side right here i know i wrote that there but let's just make the um just wanted to make reiterate things so from there um we just showed that um, left hand side is equal to right hand side so now let's actually just replace the x for negative um 4x replace x with negative 4x and by doing so we have one minus 4x to the power negative one half just replace um the negative 4x over here, so that'll become positive 4x divided by 4, which is just x, and then to the power k. And so we actually just um, showed the following over here, just like that. So let me just write this again one more time. k is equal to 0. This will be 2k, choose k, then x to the power k, then therefore we just um, proven this. So now, use, now proving this, now we can actually utilize the, um, the generating formula for the central binomial theorem. So now let's actually do that. Let's see, I'm going to rewrite that same thing again. So the infinite sum, k is equal to 0, or n is equal to 0, my bad. I'm just rewriting the given. So n is equal to 0 of x to the power n multiplied by n, the swinging, the swinging of n. So it's equal to what we have, the infinite sum, k is equal to 0 of 2k to choose k, then x to the power 2k. Add this with our infinite sum, k is equal to 0 of to k choose k multiplied by 2k plus 1 then multiplied by x to the power 2k plus 1. Now just rewriting what I just written so now let's actually denote these you know sums so um, we actually know we have to compute like one thing at a time so I'm going to just denote this even term right here I'll just call this s1 and I'll call the odd terms over here s2. So now from here now let's actually um, just compute one by one. Let's start off with s s sub one. So s sub one we said that is equal to this. Now what I can do is because we just used that central binomial theorem, just replace the k for two k, um, and then basically that just replaced that x instead now with x squared. So um, let me just put this again one more time. So k is equal zero. 2k choose k x to the power 2k. That's simply from here. This formula over here just replace instead of x for x square. So now we have uh, one divided by the square root of one subtract four x square. So we have our s one. So now we just got to compute the um, s two. But before we really go to the s two, we're actually going to um, take it for a little uh, step back from here. So we're actually going to compute this following over here: infinity uh, k is equal zero of two k choose k of um, x to the power 2k plus 1. It's basically just because it's exponent, so it's add 1, so it's basically multiply an x, so just multiply x to both sides, so now that's just x 
divided by the square root of one minus four X squared. But where are we going with this? Interestingly, what I can do is from both sides, let's differentiate in respect to X. So now, um, easily, if you just use power rule over here, the differentiation, this is um, infinity, K is equal zero. So this is two K choose K. Um, power rule, so this is just two K plus one, then multiply by X to the power two K. And then you just take the derivative of this side. So, um, let me write this as, um, I'll put this as d over dx first. d over dx of x divided by uh, square root of one subtract four x squared. And then if you just do all that, just using, you know, quotient rule. So now you'll get that um, the, the, the derivative of this will be one divided by one subtract four x squared, and then to the power three divided by two. Because um, we have the x to the power two k, but then we want to show s two. So notice that there's a plus one from here. Again, just multiply x to both sides. So then I'm just gonna lower it down, say x, s sub two is just multiply um, x both sides. So now we have that's equal to x and then divide by one, subtract four x square and then um, divide it to the power three over two. And so we're about done. Um, just substitute those back in. So basically I'll say like this. Um, so what we have is um, n is equal zero, then x to the power n, then n swing factorial equals s one plus s two. Then over here, just replace everything back. So S1, um, let me underline what we have. So this is S2, this is S1. So now we just plug this back in. So we have one divided by um, the square root of one subtract four X square. Then add this with X divided by uh, one minus four X square to the power three divided by two. And then if you actually just get a common denominator and simplify everything out, it's actually going to come out to our right hand side. One plus X subtract four X square, then divided by uh, one minus four X square to the power three divided by two. And just like that, we are done. We have shown the verified, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side of our given, just like that. All right, perfect. Um, this was a cool video. Um, now I'm looking back at this, I'm thinking that I should actually find more um, generating functions that I want to prove. I really had fun with the Fibonacci numbers and swinging factorials is another one, especially now, now I just did the proof for the central binomial um, coefficient. And I know there's plenty of other, you know, generating functions out there that, you know, maybe there's a video of it that I don't know, but um, maybe one day I'll actually um, put it out there. So yeah, that's uh, pretty cool if you ask me. <laughs>